So when you're making the prosthetic, you can use either this type of clay, modeling clay, or you can use Chavant clay, which I recommend because it's actually better. It um, doesn't dry and it's better for making prosthetics. Um, and then, so you're gonna shape it into a horn and then we'll get going with the rest. So now you wanna start adding details to your horns. Horns have lines on them and scratches. So you just add a detail like that. And you just do it along the entire horn. So there's my detailing on the horns. I'm gonna use this little spoolie to put little tiny holes on it. A little more texture. Now you want to start putting liquid latex over it. I like to use this little sponge and start dabbing it with liquid latex. You want to make sure you coat the entire thing all the way down to the pan because you, this is going to be your flat surface onto your skin, your edges basically. So you want to make sure that it's completely sealed underneath the horn with latex all the way around the prosthetic. This is just your first layer of latex. Let it dry and then do another layer over this layer and let it dry. If you're impatient like me, you're allowed to use a blow dryer to speed up the process a little bit. So now I'm doing the second layer of latex and you don't really have to go all the way down to the bottom, that part is nice and thick. Just do the horn and let it dry. So now it's nice and evenly coated. You could just let it dry and I'll show you what we do afterwards. Grab some cereal or do the dishes because you're going to be waiting a while for that to dry up. Alright, now that your prosthetic is fully dry, this is how you're going to take it off. You're going to get some translucent powder or baby powder and dust it all over because you don't want it to get stuck. It tends to do that. It gets stuck to the itself and then it's a hassle to get off. So you're going to dust it on the outside. As you start lifting the prosthetic, you want to dust under it. So as you lift, you put so you're pulling it off very gently because you don't want to tear it. Very soft. your horn and you see it has all the details you put into it and you want to dust it on the top so now that you have your prosthetic you can paint it however way you like this is an old horn I made and I painted it brown with tints of black and a little bit of like a reddish tint and I added some glitter and then you stuff it with cotton so that it stays it's um it's form you stuff it with cotton and I'll make another video showing you how to apply it 
Thank you for watching my first YouTube video. Subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos on SFX makeup and beauty.